Although the Indian stock exchanges of late have been volatile and flowing towards a depressed phase, foreign investors stand far from discouraged. For the global players, India Incorporated is here to stay. Though they recommend further structural changes in the Indian economy, especially the capital markets. When you look at what has happened in the last five years, the Indian public can be proud of the achievement. That doesn't mean that you can be complacent. There are major issues like the dematerialization, uh, issues linked to the membership of the exchanges, the way the connection or the connectivity will be organized between exchanges, uh, the role of the specific exchanges, which still have to be handled. In the process of going global, Indian companies which have so far looked at the domestic market to raise resources now realize their future overseas. For example, in the United States of America alone, a majority of over 50 million strong U.S. investors still remain untapped by the Made in India companies. Through the GDR and through uh, the uh, FII, India is now in contact in one way or another with about 20% of the equity investors. But the other 80% are untouched. And in particular, the $5 trillion dollars that have been invested in equity by the American household, by the individuals, the people. So that is something that all uh, important uh, Indian companies and even the Disinvestment Commission recognize as being a target for Indian companies. But before getting integrated into the paperless global network of stock exchanges and the financial network, the Indian capital market has to take a leaf out of the experience of the New York Stock Exchange which has faced several financial scandals in the past few decades. The NYSE, which has a daily average trading volume of over 22 billion US dollars, has invested millions of dollars to put up a strict regulatory system and has made serious efforts towards policing those who tend to take advantage of the loopholes in the capital markets. There are 2,500 people at the United States Securities and Exchange Commission against 250 in India. So I would say that the first issue that everybody has to realize is that since the capital market is only beginning, the resources of the various institutions do not permit a fully-fledged regulatory authority. And obviously, that means that the people who want to take advantage of that situation find it easier here than they might find it in other places. And there is a word of advice here for both SEBI and the managers of the country's bosses. First, pluck the loopholes in the system and give the regulatory body both teeth and credibility before raising megabucks from the global capital markets.